It's the first of its kind size and model, which is uh, quite unique. It takes a lot of coding and a lot of wiring and stuff like that to set a machine up like this. Now that they've achieved one, they can do several other ones. I'm hearing there's plans to do one uh, without a cab. I ran my first machine with Telio last summer, so it's been 11, 12 months now. It's evolved uh, a long way in a very short amount of time. They've updated the cameras, the screens, the joysticks, the chair. I gave a bunch of feedback. Now we have pedals. It's very simple to use. You got touch buttons here. You have two joysticks. You got some triggers. You have some buttons, neutral, forward, reverse. On the screen there, as you lift up the bucket, it's showing how high the bucket is off the ground and since it's a loader it's hard to tell where your edge is. Um, it also measures the pitch of the bucket so you know when you're flat on the ground you can uh, scoop no problem at all. There's also crosshairs in the center there so for example we're in a loader we need to load a truck. Those lines on the crosshair will actually tell you when you're close to to the rock truck. So in a loader, you need to pull in till your tires are a couple feet away from uh, the tires of the rock truck or the side of the rock truck to get your bucket centered for when you dump the load. They've implemented all of that. It's a good system. It's really easy to use. You got a bunch of different views. You can change a couple of views on the fly. You can look under your bucket. Um, you got a bunch of uh, cameras for reversing. You have one inside the cab. You can see the, the gauges. What I love about this is you're able to run teleop. So I'm in full control of the machine. And then in this application for tramming, let's say they build essentially a geofence where as soon as you get in that geofence, you can click auto or autonomous mode and it knows where it is. It will take over and it'll drive the machine to the end of that point. They do this by creating waypoints, which tells the machine like a straight line to go to or where it should be driving. So essentially when I click auto, when I'm in that geofenced area, it knows that it's at the beginning of the cycle. So it'll take over an auto, it'll drive on its own during that waypoint path. And it will go to the very end waypoint that's set, let's say where the truck should be to get loaded. This gives me a chance to run another machine, whether it's on site, a different site, different country, whatever. If I'm busy on the other machine for a couple seconds, this machine will stop at that last point and wait till I click over, take control of this machine. Is it like, to, for me, it's just a game changer using one operator to control multiple machines. Right now, it's, it's being used for simple task applications. Operators are worried, oh, it's gonna take my job, take my job. It's not really taking your job, it's doing what I call the boring jobs that I don't wanna do anyway. I don't, I don't wanna tram back and forth. That doesn't take any skill. That's, you don't need skill to operate that. So I think we need to look at it a little bit differently. It's also very good for remote locations. Like I don't wanna drive my own time three hours to get to site to work a 10 hour day and then drive home another three hours. Like this eliminates that for the operator who may get paid one way travel or no travel. It's also helping the, the contractor or the employer not having to pay travel. It, it makes things so much easier. It can be used during the summer when it's hot. You don't need AC in the machine. If the AC craps out, like you don't have to park the machine and get it fixed. You can just keep running under extreme conditions basically. So I think this is the way of the future. I've had an awesome time here in, in Finland, um, thanks to SRO Technology and my good friends at Telio. Thanks very much for having me out. I love that you uh, took some of my feedback and put that into this control center. I think this is version three of the command center. Awesome time in Finland. Thanks Telio and uh, shout out to AJ Alvarez.